And just want to look back at Tuesday quickly. You must have been been really pleased with, you know, with the defensive performance to get a clean sheet from that game. Um, whenever you keep a clean sheet um, from from a defensive point of view, it's it's always always a, a positive. Um, it's just obviously frustrating when when we couldn't quite break them down a little bit or just get that little bit of luck or get get a, a, a decision here and there um, just to try and get that goal, which which would have made it all the more pleasing. But I think from a, a, a collective point of view, um, we defended well and we limited them to not too much. I think um, that all starts from the front. You look at the sort of energy and uh, running that, that, that we have in, in front of us when it starts with Ben um, at, at the top of the pitch and the amount of first and second balls that, that we win in the middle of the pitch. It just gives us that platform to, to, to sort of build from and um, it's something that we want to try and do as much as possible knowing full well we've got the attacking capabilities that we've got. And as well as yourself, it was a really assured performance from, from Alex Hartridge. Of course, your experience coupled with Alex's youth. I, I, I don't believe you, you've started alongside him before uh, but Tuesday. I mean, it, it was a really good performance from him, wasn't it? Yeah, um, that's Alex there. He's, he's shown the qualities he's got. Um, if, if he didn't have those qualities, he, he, he wouldn't be starting the game, I think, throughout the season. Um, whether he started the game, whether he's come on, he's, he's always shown um, everything, um, what he's all about. And uh, as you said, um, I, I'll try and help him as, as much as possible. Um, but equally, he's, he's, he's got to take that bit of responsibility as well, which which I think he showed great on Tuesday. He, he went in and sort of did the simple well, uh, simple things well. I think the, the things that you, you just take for granted a, a little bit as a defender, um, I, I don't think he lost too many headers. He, he, cleared his lines when he needed to and I think when you're playing a difficult pitch sometimes it's not great at times or people might might wonder why, why why defenders do certain things but when the pitch gets a bit difficult or certain situations in, in, in the game um, sometimes I think just just defend first and, and if anything comes of it fine and then if he's got the opportunity to play and I think he made all, 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 the, all, the, all the right decisions and Hopefully he, he recognises that, he, he gets that bit of confidence and, and keeps building on it. You've eased yourself back into the side after the game at Stevens, where you, of course, scored the goal, had a sublime game and then picked up that unfortunate injury. How's you know your recovery been since then to get back into the side? Yeah, um, it, it, it was fine, obviously, the, the first few days after after the game. It was a case of just, just, just resting and just being careful and then um, just, get, just getting back in, in, in into the training ground, just, just building things, just, just waiting for everything to start healing and, and, and things like that. Um, and, and as I said, the, the physio staff were great. Um, they, they didn't try and push push it too fast and just made sure that I, I was comfortable. It was just, just a case of that, I think, um, getting comfortable, making sure nothing was in, in, in the back of my mind and once all the stitches and things had healed, um, Gaz was was happy for me just to get back in and 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 crack on. So it was just it was it was frustrating because it was just literally a case of just just waiting for everything um, to sort of uh, heal and, and get better. And thankfully, it's 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 done with now. And we've been back out on the training pitch and managed to get back uh, up and running. On to Saturday and Leighton Orient. They're one of those sides. They've had a mixed season, but they're always there and thereabouts. They're not too far behind us outside the playoff places. It, it, Especially with a new manager, it's going to be a difficult game for us, isn't it? Yeah, I think, as you said, um, you look at some of their results um, across the board from, from the start of the season, they'll have had some good results and, and, and some ones that, that, that you sort of think, how's, how's that sort of happened? Um, but the fact, as you said, they've, they've changed their manager, um, it'll probably give them an initial boost, I think, as it always does when, when you see uh, new managers come in. Um, whether you'll try and change too much um, midway midway through the season it might not happen too much, but I'm sure there'll be certain things that the manager will be trying to trying to influence. He'll have his own own ideas, his own stamp, and um, as I said, he's he's played there for the last for the last few years, so he'll know what the players are about. So it's not it's not a case. I think him going in and trying to find find out what what certain players are about. Um, so it's it's something that we've got to be ready for, whether they've got. I don't know some new set pieces, a, a a new little 
a new little system or, or something like that. Um, we'll, we'll be well drilled for it. Um, but equally, we want to put our stamp on the game and make sure we, we cause them a few problems as well. I want to ask really, as a player, when you're part of a team that loses their manager halfway through a season, what's it like, the mood in the camp when the new manager comes in? Because, you know, we've seen with Bradford City what a new manager can do for them this season. Yeah. You know, is everyone, is it almost like a clean slate or, you know, trying to get back in, in the new manager's good books, fighting for a start? Yeah, I think it can be. I, I think it, it, it really is probably split across the dressing room. Um, it, it, football is a team game. There's 11 players plus subs and and so on and so, so forth. But ultimately, so, so it, you do have your sort of individual sort of battles as, as well. So, um some players will be happy, some players will be sad. Um, the lads that have been playing are probably going to feel as though it's it's on them a, a, a little bit as well. I think when a manager loses his job, obviously the manager takes takes a fall for it, but ultimately I think the players have to take responsibility as well. Um, but for whatever reason, there's probably been, been players that haven't been involved. So from their point of view, they'll they'll probably look at it as an opportunity to, to try and get back in. So um, that's, I think, that might be why you sort of you see changes so quickly. All of a sudden, people will find an extra five, ten percent that maybe is they've, they've they've not been producing in 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 recent weeks, months, or, or whatever. So as you said, it, it it is strange how it happens sometimes. And I think w- when you do see it, as you said um, about the Bradford one, it's worked for them. So whether other clubs sort of sort of see that and think, well, if we're in a bit of a rut, that they might try the same thing and hope that, that they get the same reaction. Finally then, you know, I'm not sure how much you've looked at the table this season, but it's it's ridiculously tight in the top half. You know, we know that a win on Saturday, we could be right back in the mix up the top. Yeah, that's exactly it. I think it's been like that from first... I think once you let, let the league settle down after the first what six to ten games, it's it's, it's generally been as tight. No one's really sort of grasped grasped hold of it, and like usually you get a couple of teams that might run away with it, but it, that that's just not happened. I think uh, as you said, there it's that tight. You, you you get get a couple of wins on the bounce, on the bounce, put a good run together. You you soon find yourself up in the playoffs, up in up in the top three. Um, so that's something obviously we're aware of but equally there's still a lot of games um, to be played um, we want to keep picking up as many points as possible and um, come the end of the season and uh, make sure that um, we're in the mix um, which is where we want to be we, we want to be playing for something um, towards the end of the season um, but it's important that if we do lose a couple it's, it's not the end of the world um, we can bounce back quickly and that's something that we're looking to do obviously on Saturday and there seems to just be more and more teams being added to the mix. You know, we've mentioned how Bradford have been doing. Bolton it seemed like a juggernaut at the moment. You've got Harrogate suddenly up there. It, it just seems that there's about 14 teams that, that are fighting for those top seven places. Yeah, that's, as, as you said there, the Bradford, Bolton, Harrogate, as you said, I think a month ago, two months ago, um, people probably wouldn't have even spoke about those that then clubs going into the playoffs, but it just shows you how quickly it can turn. And I think teams who are up there, and maybe as I've been throughout the season, that teams always generally have a bit of a tricky spell at some point during the season. And sometimes it's it's all about timings. I think I think we seventeen games left. Team probably have some of the teams will have have a few more. Some teams have a few less, but. Um, the timing of, of, of these runs can can be crucial sometimes. I think, as you said, that the, the, when when teams do have that bit of a bad run, you, you might you might want to get it out of the way as, as as daft as that sounds, and then come come towards the end of the season if you can start putting those wins wins together, start getting them back to back, and the league as tight as it is, you'll start creeping up at the league, and um, it's it's perfect timing for 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 for, for where you want to be.